Today in the art room, I'm gonna teach you how to make a pinch pot strawberry. I'm starting with about, I don't know, two inches worth of clay. Enough that I can work and not be hard. And I'm gonna roll it into a ball. You can use both hands to do this, or you can use your table to do this. Try to take your jewelry off so it doesn't get in the clay. I didn't take this one off. So I have a nice round shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you definitely want it round. The first step in creating a pinch pot is creating the center of it. So you're going to push your thumb into your clay and start squeezing it around your thumb, okay? You don't wanna to go too far because you'll go right through it. You wanna have the, this is gonna be the pointed base of my strawberry. So as I start pushing and pinching, my clay, I'm going to form it into the shape I want. Some of you might be forming it more into a pot, very square, maybe like rounded, flat for a bun on a burger. You might be doing the walls of an apple, which is more rounded. So once you get that center in your clay, you can do a whole lot with a pinch pot. You don't want it too thick. As you can see, I'm really moving and pushing my clay. Okay, so strawberries are obviously a triangular or cone type form. Pointed at the bottom and they get wider at the top. So I'm kind of moving this around. That's still a very thick wall. So now I'm going to start curving it up because then it kind of comes up and round and then back to the center. I am going to make this an open strawberry. You could make a lid and have it be a, a vessel, or you can just leave it like so. So this is a much better thickness. You see, I moved the clay a lot, it got a lot bigger. We can do a lot more with it. Now I'm gonna start curving it around because I'm gonna attach a couple leaves on the top of my strawberry. And mine is going to be a sculpture, so I'm not gonna use it like with a lid for anything. So I'm going to make sure that it sits in a direction that I like. It is getting thinner here and it might crunch and break. You see that? That's okay. The cool thing about clay is you can always push it back together. And I will put a little um, newspaper in here so that it won't flatten while it's drying. Now I can attach some seeds and some leaves. So I'm gonna make those and then show you how to attach them using the triple S method. Okay, so I have a pretty decent shape of my strawberry. It's not perfect right now, nor do you want it to be. You still wanna attach everything. I have already pre-made some thick, a match or close to match the thickness of the strawberry. They have no definition yet. They're just shaped like leaves. And then I also have a couple seeds. So now we're going to attach, and this is why I'm not worried about making it look nice. You're going to step one, score. So you're gonna roughen up the surface of the two places that you're going to attach. I'm gonna attach them right here. I've already kind of laid them out where I want them. And I'm gonna do this whole section because I know I'm attaching two leaves. With clay, you always wanna attach and make it look correct and good first <laughs> and then you add in all the details the second step is making slip so you're going to add a little water to your finger not a ton but a little bit and make a little bit of a paste with your clay this is the glue that will stick your pieces together this is a very important step and you cannot skip it you can't skip any of these steps because i'll just pull it off not intentionally, it'll just happen. And then you're gonna stick it on. Now this is a little bit wet, but that's okay. Now, I didn't attach it there with my scoring, I should have, but time's sake. Now I'm going to do the last step of the triple S, it's seaming it. So you wanna make this look like it's a whole piece, not two pieces that were attached together. 
you always make the thing you're attaching bigger than what you plan on it looking like when you're all done. Because you can see I am taking some of the clay down and pressing to really make that connection. It is so important that you do this. If you don't, things will come detached. You'll get sad. Legs will come apart. It, it will be awful. Or, well, whatever it is you're making. Your bacon will fly off, you know. Yes, this part is a little messy. It shouldn't be super messy. If it is, you might want to let your clay dry a little bit. Maybe work on one of those other projects we're doing and come back to it. So my leaves are attached. They look pretty good. I'm not super worried about them. Here I need to do my seaming. As you can see, that's not stuck on. Okay. Still not perfectly shaped. Still not worried about it. Now I can start my seeds. Same method, but seeds are little. However, when you're making them in clay, you want them to be bigger than you expect them to look in the end. Otherwise, you'll lose them in the attaching. So I've scored. Now I'm slipping. Now I'm attaching. Pressing down to make that a good connection. Keeping one finger on the inside for stability so I don't smash my strawberry. And then seam it. As you can see, a lot of my strawberry seed has just now become back to the strawberry. Okay, and then you would smooth that out. Oop, I just smashed it. Reshape it. I always take that extra slip and just kind of incorporate it right into my, my piece. Okay, now we have a little seed sticking out. I'm going to do that all the way around this part. I won't do it on the base where it's going to sit. And then I'll let it dry out. 